Emmanuel Macron arrived Benin with promise to invest in security as the Sahel region sees a spike in attacks by armed groups. The French president says France will work with friendly countries to overcome those challenges. La France sera toujours aux côtés des autorités Benin. France will always stand by Benin to face this threat. It will do so by responding to your requests as we have always done. Our support will be first of all civilian and will then be in support of the development strategies for the most vulnerable areas and those most exposed to the attempts of terrorist groups to establish themselves. On the security front, we'll be on hand to meet all your requests in terms of training and equipment. But as Macron arrives Benin, the Malian military announced armed groups have carried out coordinated attacks on two military bases. The attacks came days after another attack near the capital. France was forced to pull out of Mali after nine years of leading a joint operation with regional forces to rout armed groups in the Sahel. This has left the former colonial power struggling to position its troops elsewhere in the region. His host, Patrice Talon, was hoping for a robust French support to his small West African country, which is also seeing a steady rise in attacks by armed groups. Instead, his human rights record is coming under scrutiny. In Benin, there are no political prisoners. No one's detained in Benin for their political opinion. But people are detained for having acted, for having committed offences, crimes in the political field, that's true. So it could be that in the future, in my time, or after me, that acts of pardon or amnesty will be enacted towards these people. It's possible. Macron's tour coincides with Russian Foreign Minister's Africa diplomatic charm offensive, and he wasted no time to blame Russia's invasion of Ukraine for creating food and energy shortages across Africa. His next pit stop is Guinea-Bissau, a country whose political stability continues to be tested. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera.